we have gone through the steps to configure the SAAS server for software development in the previous slides. In the coming slides, we will look into accessing the services from SAAS user. The user can access the service from the server by using the default URL, which is http colon forward slash forward slash IP address forward slash session manager. After getting an access to the URL, the user must select the user to log in and then insert the password. After filling in these fields, the user must click on login button given on the screen. If the credentials are perfect, the user will get the dedicated access to the selected user portal. On clicking the login button on the screen, the dedicated user portal screen will appear. The user should always click on the run button given on the screen whenever a digital signing window pops up. The screenshot on the slide shows the digital signing pop-up window that a user is likely to see. Further, after clicking on Run button on the screen, the user must click on the Open Office option to access the software through the web browser. This option is displayed under My Applications tab on the left pane. The user will now be directed to the welcome screen of the OpenOffice.org. The screen shows the software being accessed through the web browser. This also shows a perfect hardware independent of the software that is being used by the user. So far, we have discussed accessing the services from SAS server. In the next slide, we will move on to the load balancing policy. Load balancing, as we have discussed in the previous module, can be implemented in the SAS server. Load balancing can be done with respect to RAM, CPU and user connections. This feature will help the server to maintain business continuity. In order to perform any setting on the load balancing policy, the user can go to the configuration tab of the administrator portal and click on the server settings. Later, the user can set the load balancing policy as per the load needs.